peaceful is a struggle for me. Don't pull up at 6 a.m. to cuddle with me. You know how I like it when you loving on me. I don't want to die for them to miss me. Yes, I see the things that they wishing on me. Hope I got some brothers. What's getting she gang? You know who it is. Why you got a skeleton in the house? Because it prevents head colds, little nigga. Yeah, today I got a story time on my first high school party. So, <laughs> let's get lit and start the video, all right? All right, so this story takes place when I'm around, probably around sophomore year. So I was a sophomore in high school, my first party ever, haven't even been to one. So this is, this is a big thing for me. And back then, I used to be like quiet and like, I didn't really talk to nobody, I was to myself. And that's what people knew me as, the quiet, sexy ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? That's what people knew me as. So, it's around October, you know, Halloween's around the corner. This girl, I'm not gonna say her name, so I'm gonna say Hot Sauce. So, Hot Sauce is gonna come around, passing out flyers and shit. Every, everywhere, fucking, you get a flyer, you get a flyer, you get a flyer, you get a flyer, everyone gets a flyer. I'm just here not getting a flyer, I'm just like, yo, what the fuck, yo, where's my flyer at? So I'm waiting for my flyer and shit. And since I'm, since I'm a sexy ass nigga, you know what I'm saying, she looked at me real quick and was just like, like she ran, like she kind of jogged to me. So I'm like, all right, I'm about to get this flyer real quick. So she, she gives me the flyer and I look at it, I'm like, all right, bet, bet, bet. So I'm like, cool, I'm like, all right, so who am I gonna go with? Like, I'm not gonna go to this party by myself. So I'm thinking about people to go with. And later on in the day, during school, my boy, I'm not gonna say his name, so I'm gonna call him Panda Express. So Panda Express, he comes up to me, he's like, bro, you going to this party, bro? You this party about to be lit, bro? You got the invitation? Yeah, and you got, got the invitation, I got it. Yeah, you say, like, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro, he's like, yeah, bro, I was like, yeah, bro. And I'm like, all right, I'm like, I right, bet, so we both going to this party. Now I got somebody to go to this party. So, you know, I'm hella excited. I'm just like, yo, I'm thinking about it. I'm just like, yo, this about to be lit. All that, I'm about to be turned. So the day comes, Halloween night, dark as shit. And I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna get to this party if my mom's here. And back then, my mom's overprotective. She's still overprotective. She she black, black mom. So I'm trying to get to this party, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, I go up to my mom, just like, and I'm like, mom, can I go trick or treating with my friends? Go on, get you some candy, but go ahead and get you. Go get, give me a Reese's too while you out there in the Milky Way. You know, your mama like the whip Milky Way. So I'm excited. I got away with it. So I'm going to this party. I'm fresh. I'm looking fresh. You know, I'm dressed up, looking nice and snazzy and whatever. You know, like a chocolate fondue and shit. I'm looking all sexy. You know what I'm saying? Even though I didn't get my lineup, but I was still looking. You know, I was looking good. That's besides the point. So I'm out the door. I'm walking to this party. You know what I'm saying? And then I start hitting up, hitting up my boys, you know, typing and shit. I'm, all, I'm just trying to t see where, see what's the word, see where everyone's at. When trying to see what's going on. So we meet up. So we, I meet up with my boys. We meet up at the station. We goofing. We having fun. We playing, doing, just doing, doing nigga shit, doing nigga shit. We finally get to the spot. And th and this party is this is in the hood. Like this is in the hood, hood. Like we 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 in a deep hood. So we just, we ganged up, I'm with the, we with the boys. We going to this party, we meet up with these girls at the stop, and they taking us to the party. We walk into the party, we goofing while we walk in there. It's just, it's just feeling good, we, I'm feeling good right now. I'm just like, yo, this is my first party. I didn't even know how to act. Like, I was just like, I don't know if I should be nervous or should I, should I be excited? Cause I don't know, I don't know what's coming up. I don't know what's coming for me right now. So we walking up the stairs. It's like I was, it was like it was like I was walking up to heaven or something. I was like see the lights, like, see the lights coming up. I'm just like walking up. I'm just like, yo, this is, this is it. This is it. This is it. Like I'm going up. We going up here. This is about to be heaven on land right now. This is about to be crazy. So we going up the stairs. We going we walk into the party, right? Walk into the party. And I'm just like. Where the fuck everyone at? All I see, and it was like, like maybe like two, 
two or three people who were over there. Like people was just high and shit, laying on the couch like this and shit. Laying on the couch like this. Open one eye open and shit, like this this slump. A nigga was just a slump. And they, they, females wasn't even dancing. Females was just slugging up on the walls. I'm just like, yo, what's going on? What, what is this? This This is my first posting my first high school party. Like what the, what is this? So I'm kinda disappointed at this point. I'm just like, it's like what's what is this? So later on in the party, me Panda Express comes up to me and was just like, yo, yo, I gotta change the music, blah, 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 blah. I'm just like, shit, do you, bro. So this dude, he goes up to the, he goes up to the, and starts changing, you know, fiddling with the music, you know what I'm saying? Cause he's Asian. So I'm like, uh, he might be, he might be on to something. The dude might be on to something. So he switches up the music and puts on some Jamaican joint. So when he did that, right, more people started coming in, more people started coming into the party. And I'm just like, okay, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a whole bunch of snacks around. You know what I'm saying? There's a whole bunch of snacks scattered around. You know, pretty females was walking. And I'm just like, okay, I'm kind of feeling this. So then, then the girl that hosts the party started coming up to us because, shit, we were slugged up on the wall too. We didn't want to do nothing. Like, there was no action. Like, there's no action, buddy. Like, what the fuck? We, like, what are we going to do? So that so the girl comes up. So she was like, hey, can we come down to nobody? Party canceled. And then she started walking over, and then she started walking over to the other group, to all the females, are, and just told them the same thing. And then my boy Panda Express was just like, yo, bro, yo, bro, like, hitting me in the back, I'm just like, yo, what's up, what's up? He's just like, yo, bro, go dance with that, I dare you go dance with that girl over there. See, you know me, I ain't no bitch, so I was just like, damn, I'm like, all right, there ain't no bitch over there. See, you know, I go over there, I walk over there with my chest up and shit. I walk over there with my chest up, and I walk up behind her, you know, and I'm just like, yo, do I know how to dance? Mind you, this is my first party, and I don't know if I know how to dance or I, or I don't. So I'm kind of nervous. And the only thing I knew how to do was, I think I thought I knew how to dagger. Because daggering is just dry humping. Like you just, you basically just dry fucking a bitch. But like I didn't know any, any tricks. I just knew how to dry fuck. So that's, that's what I did. And there was another problem. How do you tell a girl you wanna dry fuck? Do you like, do you just grab them and just be like, yo. I wanna dry fuck your booty. What's up? Like, do you do that or do you just whisper in the air and be like, Hey, how you doing, little mama? Let me whisper in your ear. Tell you something that you might like, dear. You gotta sex a little body and your booty look soft, man. Like, what do you do? Like, I don't know. Like, like, is there any logic behind this? Like, I don't know. Like, how do you do this? Nah, I just went over there like a smooth criminal and shit. I was just like, grabbed her by the waist. I was just like, I'm trying to dance. And she looked at me to see if I was cute. She gave me that little look. She was like, she started throwing it back. She started throwing it back. Just she was playing tennis or something. She was like, it was going crazy. I'm just like, getting pushed back and everything. I'm just like, yo, relax, relax, control. So you know, I, I wasn't, I'm not a bitch like I said. And it's your gang, I ain't no bitch. So I just, I grabbed her, grabbed, I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going in, I'm going in. And then after that, after a little while, I started getting comfortable. Just, I'm just going in, I'm going in. And then to notice, like, I'm the only one dancing in the party. Like, everyone else is just looking at me like, yo, is he dancing? Like, we... and plus, I was dancing with the baddest girl at the party. Like, all the niggas was just looking at me like, yo, I know damn well nigga dancing with this bad ass girl right now. I know better. I know it ain't true. And I'm over there looking like the man and shit, just. And I'm just like, yo. This is lit. So then after that, so while I'm dancing, my boy comes around me, and he, he pulls a girl, and he starts dancing. So then it's just me and him, just dancing, going at it, just, this daggering at the party, just daggering. And as soon as you know, everybody's dancing. So we got everybody dancing around me. So it was been, and it was crazy, it was getting crazy and crazier and crazier. Like people was just twerking, the girls was just twerking. Fellas was just pulling up behind and just, <sighs> Giving them back shots, just, ugh, ugh. it was crazy. Like I never experienced something like that in my life. After that, we was like, uh, like it was just over. Like I was just switching off the different girls. Like, like girls was just looking at me. Like, like damn, this is is this TB? Is this TB from school? Like, this is this must not be TB because TB was not acting like that. TB don't dagger girls at parties. TB is quiet. TB is the quiet guy at school. And you know what? I proved him wrong. TB did his thing in there. See what I'm saying? I'm going in. 
I'm just switching off a different girl. We danced up on like five, maybe seven girls up in there. There wasn't really that much girls in there, so I, pr I pretty much got up all the pretty ones. You know how I do. So, so your boy was doing his thing. So then later on that party, it just started getting even more crazy. Like, like twerking was just turning into lap dancing. Lap dancing started turning into floor dancing. Like, girls just laying on the floor like this. And, ni and niggas was like doing some magic mic type shit on the floor. I'm humping them and shit. I'm just like, yo. Like, this is real. Like, am I really seeing this right now? Like, somebody is getting fucked with clothes on on the floor. What the fuck? So I'm just watching them like, damn, it's just like a, like it looked like a beginning of a porno. Like I, I didn't know how to handle it. I'm just watching like, yo, is this really happening? At this point, there was just a whole lot of dry humping around. I'm just like, who's trying to go in this bathroom real quick? Like, things started getting steamy and stinky and shit. Like, if the girls in there need to put some deodorant on their cheeks because that, that odor was just not pretty. Like I like I was daggering this girl. I don't know what I don't know who she was. I don't know what her name was. I don't know what school she went. I was just I was behind her. Every time she threw it back, I feel like I was getting slapped by a garbage bag. I was like, ugh, ugh. like I was just getting torn up. Like it was it was killing me. Like my my like my dick was burning. So I flee that scene real quick. So like two hours into that party, I was just chilling up on the couch. Like yo, I feel I feel good right now. People, people coming up to me, talking to me. I'm just like, yo, I ain't gonna do your thing. I'm tired. I'm tired over here. I'm good. So then later on that party, so right now I'm just cooling, trying to ease my way back up so I can get get back to dancing. I get up and I dance with this one girl. I don't know who she is. I don't know where she came from, but her booty was like it was so amazing. She on this Halloween dress, little dress thing. I was just like, yo, it was just looking, things was just going right. Like when I was bagging on her, it was just, it was feeling right. Like I didn't feel like my my pee, my pee pee was burning or nothing. It was just felt right. Like her her cheeks felt right. It just felt good. I felt like I was just diving into a cloud or something. Just, oof. Like I felt like I was just making pure love to the girl. I was getting all sweaty. I'm just, I feel like I just had sex. I'm just like, oof. Just going in on her, like it was so crazy. Like I'm big nigga want to get her snap, her Facebook, her social ID, just everything. I just want her everything. Beautiful, like she was just beautiful. So then later on, later on throughout the party, things started winding down. Everybody started getting tired. It was lit. Everyone was lit. We dan we was dancing. It was turnt. Now everyone just wanted to go home, like. I, just, I was tired. I wanted to go home. I just wanted to lay in my bed and just knock. So I, I look at my boys. I'm just like, yo. And I look at them. They are, they look like they were half asleep. Just laid up. Yo, what's good, T? Yo, I'm like, yo, you trying to be out? Hey, bro, it's late. Let's go. It's late. Let's, let's get out. He's like, all right, T. So we flee that place. We start heading home. And I'm just thinking in my head, just like, yo. That was really like the best night of my senior life. So I go home, and you know when you go home from a party, you just you just get in your bed, you just feel so good. That's what, that's what happened to me, man. I, I ran up to my bed, just threw myself down, closed my eyes, and just went to sleep with a smile on my face. Like, I was just like, when I went back to school, everybody was coming up like they know me and shit. Like, like, damn, damn, I felt popular. Like, people was just coming up to me like, Like, yo, T, I seen you. Like, yo, T, I seen you dance with them girls. I seen you dance with all them girls. Girls coming up to me. T, you know how to dance. Like, I thought I was feeling good. Like, I feel like the man. Like, people were coming up to me. And people knew my name. But yeah, if y'all enjoyed that little story time, make sure y'all like and comment your feedback. If you didn't like the video, I don't give a shit. So you go check out my Whisper Challenge. And yeah, you know who this is. TV Industry, we out. <laughs>